Improving the OnePlus experience with the Krypton Open Source Project, also known as COSP. COSP gets installed a little differently than the likes of Pixel Experience and Lineage, but is rather straightforward if things go as they should. I did run into a few issues, which I'll get into at the end. Before we get started, you need to make sure your PC has ADB and Fastboot. A guide will be linked in the description if you haven't done this yet. You'll also need to enable USB debugging and OEM unlock in the developer options. Also, to be safe, ensure that Android 11 is installed, either via a different ROM or Oxygen OS. Lastly, we need to download our file. In the description, you'll find a link for your device. From here, we want to grab the Fastboot file, ideally the latest file ending in .img.zip, and drop this into your ADB folder. With that out the way, our first step is to unlock the bootloader. A reminder that this will clear all your data, so be sure to have backups and don't wipe out anything that you'll miss. Connect your device via USB. Open your ADB folder, then type cmd into the folder path to launch the command window. Then type adb reboot bootloader. This will reboot your device into fast boot mode. Then we want to type fastboot devices. This should come back with a device ID, confirming that it has a connection. If you get an error here, you'll need to double check your ADB and fastboot setup. Then we type fastboot OEM unlock and complete the prompts on your phone. Once the restart is completed, the bootloader is now unlocked. As your device has been wiped, Quickly run through the setup, then enable USB debugging to continue, ensuring to hit always allow on the USB debugging pop-up. Then we want to go back into Fastboot with ADB reboot bootloader. Now you want to run the command fastboot update skip reboot, skip secondary, and then the name of the zip file. It's best to just copy the command from the description and copy the file name from your folder. Chill out while it runs through. It should take a little while. We enter recovery, then perform a format. Then reboot into our shiny new ROM. In a future video, I'll be going through the features of this ROM and how it fares as a daily driver. So be sure to subscribe for that. Now, some issues that I ran into. Initially, my ADB didn't recognize the skip reboot command. This was fixed by downloading the latest ADB files. It then wouldn't run the command over the top of my Pixel Experience ROM. So for this, I ended up nuking everything with the MSM download tool and rolling back to Oxygen OS, starting it all from scratch. I covered using this tool in another video. I later also ran into a problem where I didn't notice my install hadn't run all the way through without error. This caused the device to boot into the Qualcomm crash dump mode. This was resolved by forcing the device off by holding the power button and both volume up and down for a while. I then ended up booting into recovery with the volume down and power keys to see if it had at least made it that far. When I had, I used this to boot back into the bootloader and then run the fast boot command again. If this didn't work, I could have fallen back onto the MSM download tool though as well. Now, with all that out the way, enjoy your new ROM. Cheers for watching guys. I'm currently a tiny channel trying to grow. So if you found this helpful, please consider chucking us a like and a sub. And if you want to check out my other OnePlus ROM content, that'll be floating around on screen too. Appreciate it.